Hey guys, welcome back to Snow Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode number 48. Hey guys, welcome back to Snow Catch Your Name. Um, today is Saturday, July 7th, I think. Uh, technically it's Friday, but I'll, this will be coming out Saturday for y'all. Um, I'm also filming a... Move around this chair. <laughs> I'm also filming a weekend vlog type video that will be coming out Sunday night or Monday. So some of the stuff you will see in that again if you watch it. But I want, wanted to go ahead and re-show stuff in this video in case you don't watch that vlog. Because some people aren't interested in stuff like that. Which is fine. But yeah, I got some acquisitions, some finished objects, and some more whips. Then uh, last week, I got everything within reach, I think. <laughs> so I will be hopping into it now. I guess we'll start off with finished objects. Just go ahead and hop right in. Um, Devin has been off since Wednesday, but he just took Jesse over to his dad's to hang out for a little while. So it's quiet. So I'm going to film real fast while it's quiet. So the first two, the only two finished objects I have this week are two things that I'm entering into our local county fair that starts this um, September, technically. Uh, the first day, I think, is the last day of August, but the actual fair starts the day after that. Like... It's confusing. <laughs> you like going and enter stuff the day before and the actual fair, the rides and all that kind of stuff starts the next day. But so um, there's a bunch of categories. If you're if you've never entered in your local county fair, if you live where they do that, um, it's really fun. It's a lot of fun, at least in my area. You can win ribbons, but also a little tiny bit of money. It's like one, two, three dollars for first, second, third place. And um, best in show gets, I think, ten dollars. I thought like there's a horrible glaring glare that's not making it any better than uh, I don't care <laughs> um, I'm wearing my hair down today it has a weird ponytail shape because I just had it up but anyways local fair it's a lot of fun to enter um, I've been doing it two I did it last two years and this year will be the third one I've won ribbons each year that I've entered um, and it's a lot of fun I think last year I got like eight uh, blue ribbons which is first prize and a couple red ones which is second this year I'm hoping so bad to get a best in show, but uh, I'm happy with anything really. And when I get the money, I always use it for like yarn and stuff. So, but this these two finished objects that I made are both with cotton yarn, and it is in um shoot I don't have the ball band. Oh, I got it right here. Okay, I got my laptop right here with my Ravelry pulled up so I can tell you who you know the patterns and stuff. But it's two different categories. One is placemats, and one is dishcloths. I don't think my fair actually has a dishcloth category. They have pot holder category, functional and decorative. So I'll probably see if I can put it in there. They're really lenient at my fair. They uh, they just kind of move stuff around to help people enter their stuff. And there's always a miscellaneous item category for crochet, knit, sewing, all the different crafts. So if I can't find a place to put my wash my dishcloth, they can just put it in the miscellaneous one. But we'll start with the placemat first because it's the one I got pulled up. I made this with um, the Yarnby Sugar Wheel Cotton. Sugar Wheel. I feel like I said that word. It's a relatively new line at Hobby Lobby. Uh, I bought it a few weeks ago. If you were watching then, you would have you probably seen it in um, a haul. But I bought two uh, cakes of it. One was a, this blue green color. One was a purple one. Purple and green, I think. So um, it's super soft cotton. It's the softest cotton I've ever felt. <laughs> But I used, I only used about half of this game. Maybe not even half of it. But this is, it's kind of hard to show because it's holy. <laughs> and not flat. This is my placemat. I think it's super cute. I want to make more. It's almost doily-ish. And this is a weight, a number four weight yarn. It's worsted. But it's super thin. I got the scrap ball up here. Oh my gosh, awkward angle. <laughs> Alright, this right here is, um... Peaches and cream is a number four worsted. And this right here is the sugar wheel. It's supposed to be a number four worsted. But it's a lot smaller, as you can see. It's I think it's more like a light worsted. It's more like mandala yarn. Super duper soft though. I've got enough of that to make another place mat. So I'm thinking I'm gonna make another one. And here it is again. I'm held it up. I love how it started off green in the middle and then it changed to the blue and then light blue around the edges. Super easy pattern. I made this in like 30 minutes while watching TV. I think I made this Sunday. I love the, uh, the I think these are called eyelets or lace. I'm not sure what people call it. And then the Pico. You can't see it good because it's not flat. <laughs> the Pico um, 
border. I'll go ahead and insert a picture here of it laying flat so you can get just a better idea of what the whole thing looks like. But it's super duper cute. I really like this pattern. It was a free pattern that I got um, from a website. It's on Ravelry. It's called the Pico, or how do you say it? I used to call it Picket, <laughs> but I think it's Pico. The Pico Fan Place Map by Jennifer Edwards. And it'll be linked below, and I just really love it. She, I think the PDF that you download comes with three different um, placemats. Maybe that's not this one. No, it's not this one. I'm sorry. Just ignore me. It just comes with this one. But I think it's super pretty, and I can't wait to enter it. I hope I win. <laughs> but, you know, there's no telling what other people are going to enter. All right. I feel like I ran through that. I'm going to slow down a little bit. I always rush through my videos lately, and I don't know why. I think I get excited and uh, just start talking real fast. All right. Now my washcloth. Let's bring it up. All right, this is just a, it's like a granny stitch washcloth kind of. It's just a different one. This is the pattern that came in a set of three. When you download its PDF, it is, there's three washcloths. And I just like this one the most out of it. I made this with that orange that I had in its uh, peaches and cream. My sister actually got that for me for my birthday, I think. I think it was my birthday. Um, this pattern is called Granny RR Dishcloth by Julie Fort. And this is it. It's really dark. You can't really, right there, there's a little flower in the middle made with uh, popcorn stitches. And then it's kind of a granny star. I think it's super cute. I actually can't wait to use this, but I'm going to wait, you know, obviously until the fair. <laughs> it's a pretty good size dishcloth. I want to make some more of these super fast. Again, I made this in like 15, 20 minutes while watching TV. I made this the same time I made that um, placemat. I made the placemat first and then I made this. <laughs> Super cute. I really like it. I think that flower would be good for, you know, scrubbing. <laughs> but yeah, it's just orange. I know it will fade and get more fluffy as it gets washed and used because it's still stiff right now from not being washed. But our fair, uh, they prefer items not to be washed and all that before you enter them. I don't know why, but that's just them in the back of it. That's where the flower is. It's just a dishcloth. I think it's really nice. There. Uh, I already said what it's for. It is a free pattern. I used an H hook for that. I think I used a G hook for a placemat. I can't remember. But that is the one that when you download it, it comes with three dishcloth patterns. One is really similar to that, but instead of star shaped, or no, it is still star shaped, but it's not granny. It's like a solid double crochet around star. And then I can't remember the third one. But you get all three of them with the pattern download, and it's free. So that's cool. Let's see here. That's all my finished objects. Yes. So we'll go on to whips. Um, we'll start with this one because it's pre-existing whip. This is my corner to corner baby blanket that I was working on. I started it and another one. I'm not going to show the other one because I haven't worked on it at all. The one that I've not worked on is the one that I'm making with Lion Brand Mandala in Unicorn. I haven't um, worked with it at all so I'm not even going to worry about showing it because it looks exactly the way it did last week. This one I did work on a little bit. This is just like I said in my last video, this is the one that I take along when we go on car rides and stuff. And on 4th of July, I took this over to Devin's dad's um, to work on while they were swimming and stuff. Because I just didn't want to swim. It was super hot here on the 4th of July. It was around 100 and the pool was in direct sunlight and I just didn't want to be in the pool when it was super hot. Where is my progress keeper? Oh, there it is. I think I only did a roll and a half. Maybe about two rolls if you put the two halves together. But the progress keeper is right here. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's purple. That's where I stopped last week. And that's all I got done since. It was just that whole row of the purple's on and then like half of the next row. This is the size it's going to be. Woo! Chair's cold on my back. <laughs> it's going to be a square. And then I'll put a border around it. This is almost two cakes. I started decreasing before, not cakes, um, skeins. I started decreasing before the other one ran out so that I wouldn't run out. I have four all together of this color, and I'll show you that in just a second. This is just corner to corner, back and forth. It's nothing special. But the yarn is Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn Prance in the color Turquoise Sky. It was some that I got on sale during that big clearance sale that they had. I got four balls of it, and um, I've used almost two. 
I haven't started this one yet. This is just in the bag. Once I use the rest of that other one, I will start it. And it's it's just like a little right there. That's all it's left. Then I will decrease with this and the other one that's up there. And then I will probably take one of these colors, try to find one similar to this to use as border. I was thinking a pink color. I don't know. I'll, f I'll figure it out. <laughs> It's just a really cute little baby blanket that I'll have on hand in case someone I know uh, has a baby girl. And then I can have a gift already for them. <laughs> the same with the mandala one whenever I finish it. Which they're kind of on pause so that I can finish my mandala madness for the fair. Fix my bag. It's in my skeleton drawstring bag. All right, my next whip, this is a new whip. I'm saving my Mandala Madness for last because it's so big. I feel like I'm missing a star. Oh, I'm missing a star. I'm have to, what am I gonna do with it? <laughs> I had three stars, but now I only have two. This is, I'll pop up a picture. Um, this is a patriotic decoration. Uh, I wasn't making it for 4th of July. I actually started it, I think, on 4th of July. I'm making it for the fair. It's another fair entry. Uh, we have one that is patriotic decorations that isn't a reef because I already have a reef made. I just have to put stars on it. Uh, and I will show all the stuff that I've had made for the fair again before the fair or during it or something. Just so you guys can get like a refresher or if you weren't here. Anyways, this is going to be the patriotic um, decoration that isn't a reef <laughs> uh, for the fair. And it is the Snappy Sam flag decoration by Heidi Yates, which is Snappy Todd's. This is a paid for pattern, but I've said this in almost every one of my videos that I ever mentioned Heidi Yates in. Uh, she is really good about giving either sales or um, coupon deals or even free coupons. She gives away her patterns a lot, especially on like holidays or family holidays, you know, birthdays and stuff. So uh, if you are interested in her patterns, definitely like her all her social medias and follow her and you can randomly get um some free patterns and one her she has a facebook group it's like a private facebook group you know it's for members only but you know anybody can join it but once you're in there the stuff that's in it is for the members only and it's called totally snappy i would suggest joining that because she gives away stuff on there all the time anyways i'll pop up a picture this is what it's supposed to look like and you know will look like when it's done but so far all i have done is the top of his hat I uh, won't in my ends yet, but I have the top of this hat and the brim, the brim, I got the brim done, <laughs> and I had the three stars done, but I lost one of them, so I have two right here to show you, I'm not weaving any of the ends, because I sometimes use the ends to sew stuff on, so that's why I left ends on all these, so that if I need it to sew something on, it's there, so I, I guess I technically have the hat done, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna have to hold it upside down, <laughs> right here. And I do have the other star, I just don't know what I did with it. It's around here somewhere. I had it earlier. <laughs> but now I just started on his beard, but it's um, it's like the chain, so it's not actually started, started. And then the beard is his face, as you can see from the picture. And uh, then his mustache, his nose, and then the USA I will make, and then the little eagle to put on his hat that's all I need to put this back in the project bag I don't even know why it was out I had it setting up here I'll just go ahead and stick it back up there <laughs> but yeah that's my almost last whip my last whip is my mandala madness that I'm making uh for the fair <laughs> as you can tell I'm in full fair mode kind of like Kendra at um hooked by happenstance I just finished part eight and then started I did the first row of part nine I think yeah, the first row part nine. I'm still attached to yarn, so I have to pull some slack up here. I'm gonna have to stand up for this too. <laughs> if I could get up. Alright, this is the, the whole thing. I've been posting pictures on my Ravelry project page and on my Facebook group if you'd like to watch the progress of it. But this is all of always from one. <laughs> To eight and then this purple this purple row is the first row, round of part nine <laughs> so i'm almost halfway done once i finish part nine i'll be halfway done there's 18 parts and uh, yeah it's pretty cool i showed it pretty close up last time but i'll do it again this time 
I need the, let me make sure my loops pull down enough that I'm not losing stitches. Okay, so it starts right here in the middle. You can't really see it, but there's white in there. That's where you start at. You can use any colors, obviously. I just chose rainbow colors because I like them and I had them <laughs> on hand. And then I added white. The white is, um, I love this yarn white and all the other ones are Red Heart Super Saver. Hot red, pumpkin, bright yellow, spring green, blue, and amethyst. But I love that. I love how textured it is. Here's some more of it. I love all these little bubbles up here. There are white, green, yellow, and red bubbles. This blue round right here that you can see jutting down, that was the worst round so far. I absolutely hated that round. Because you're up here and you're having to work into three different rounds below you. And it's just a pain in the butt. <laughs> These are extended triples. I don't know why they're called extended triples because, you know, I guess you could just keep going up. Because, you know, triple, you wrap around twice. And these, this long one was wrapped around seven times. These are triples. And then this one is five, seven, and four. So, yeah, I'm up here now. I'm working on it slowly but surely. It'll be done before the fair. I know it will be because I'm doing, I've got it over a month. And uh, I'm already halfway done. Granted, it is going to get longer because it's going to get bigger. So the rounds are going to be longer. But I have 100% confidence that it'll be done before the fair. And that I've been doing pretty good at weaving in the ends as I go. So there won't be a million of them when I um, get done with it. Because <laughs> that's like the worst thing ever when you're working and working and working. And then you realize that you're done. But you're not done because you have a thousand ends to weave in. But that is all my whips. Um, I'm probably going to be starting some more soon because I got more categories of the fair I want to enter. Um, I need to make a hat, uh, booties, or house shoes. I already got a scarf. Let's see here. I was thinking about making a baby dress or and, and or a baby cardigan. There's just a bunch of categories. There's like 30-something that I was interested in, and then I don't know if I'm going to enter all of them. There are some reefs I would like to make, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to make a bunch of reefs while working on that blanket. Because, um, reefs are kind of a pain in the butt. I've made a few of them, and I just, they're kind of annoying. But, um, yeah, there's just a bunch of things that I want to make. I don't know if I'll make them all. I guess you'll see as long as I, along with me as I do. <laughs> but yeah, that's all my whips and finished objects and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to hop on to acquisitions. I, I'm, I've actually just filmed a clip for the vlog that will be coming out Sunday night or Monday with this stuff in it. So if you watch that, you'll see all the same stuff again. But in case you don't watch that, I will show you. I went to Hobby Lobby and Walmart today to buy some fabric to make bags with. And also at Hobby Lobby, I bought some stitch marker uh, stuff. So I'll show you all that. I'll show you the stitch marker stuff first. I already got these ones opened off of their packaging. But this is just a little bead. That's a little teacup with a heart on it to make a stitch marker with and this is like a pendant that is like a wolf face and then I did buy two um, packages of the little earring things I use to make stitch markers with because these for me are super easy to open and close and to get in the yarn and then I bought two um, strings of strung beads <laughs> This one is clear with blue polka dots on it. I thought they were real pretty to make markers with. These are glass. And then these ones, Devin actually helped me pick these ones out. These are just random gold, black and white, and clear beads that I thought would make pretty stitch markers. If no one's interested in buying them, I'll just use them myself. <laughs> but yeah, these, I will be posting some of these in my shop soon. Maybe not super duper soon, but eventually. <laughs> Alright, now onto the fabric. I got some of this at Hobby Lobby and some of it at Walmart. I'll do the plain ones first. I got a yard or four fat quarters of this darker pink. These are for liners of bags. And then I got two of this darker green color. Darker light green. <laughs> I got two of these lime-ish green color ones. 
And then I got four of this light pink. And then I bought this. This is a half a yard. Uh, I made some bags with this that I actually sold in my shop. And then I'm, I bought another half yard of this to make, to try to make um, zippy bags, zippy pouches, like for uh, Notion, like Notion patch, pouches. Bull. It's just the owls. I mean, I had two project bags of this in my shop, but they have sold. I just thought it'd be cute to make matching zippy pouches because then if the person who bought them wants a matching Notion's pouch, they can buy one. And then I bought this really cute summery flamingo pattern. There's a yard of this, so I can make two bags with this. Oh, this is really pretty. And then I bought, uh, this is a yard of Batwoman, Superwoman, and Wonder Woman material. This is another yard of, this is Disney Princess material. It's got their pictures and then like quotes from the storybooks. I thought that was pretty. And the last one I bought, this is probably going to be a bag for me. This was the last of the bolt. So it's it's a little under a yard. It's, it's about three-fourths a yard. So it's enough for me to make a big project bag for myself and possibly a Notions pouch to go along with it. And it is Ninja Turtles. I love the Ninja Turtles. So this is going to be a project bag for me. <laughs> but the rest of these will be project bags in my shop eventually. Project bags and maybe Notion pouches. I but I have to wash all of these and iron them and all that fun stuff. And I have a random hook out. This was in the what is this in? This was in this one. <laughs> this is in the corner to corner. Stick that back in there before I forget. Alright, that's all my acquisitions, other than some rubber stamps that I bought, but you know, fiber people don't really care about that. <laughs> uh, I like rubber stamps for planners and stuff like that. Yeah, that's everything. I guess that's another short episode because I don't really have a lot to show. I've been working on the same stuff and pretty much doing the same stuff. So yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and hop off of here in a minute. So we'll just do my plugs real fast. <laughs> uh, first is my Facebook group will be linked below. We are almost at 400 subs or subscribers, members. When I last looked, it was either 498 or 499. And once I, or not four, 398, 399. Once we hit 400, I will be doing another pattern giveaway over there. It'll be open for a few days, so if you are seeing this Saturday and go over there and there's already 400 members, go ahead and join and find that post. It should be up near the top. You can enter to win uh, any pattern off of Ravelry, five US dollars or under. Um, and I'll probably close it Monday or Tuesday, assuming we get another member or two before then um, to make us go over that mark. But um, so that'll be fun. <laughs> My other let's see here my etsy shop I, it'll be linked below and also at the end of this video on the end card um my, my 15 percent sale has finished but i'll probably be having another sale soon with these new bags because i just like having sales i don't know it's fun <laughs> but um there are still some bags and stitch markers over there if you're interested you can check them out there's some really cute um mickey mouse bags that if no one buys one i may keep one for myself me. Well, if no one buys them, obviously I'll have two of them. But um, they're these ones. They're big, as you can see. They're they're good size project bags. And um, this one's got orange on the inside. The other one has yellow. So it's like old timey Mickey. And it's not cotton. I'm not exactly sure what this is. I bought it on sale, I think. And um, I think it's it's like really close to being canvas, but not quite canvas. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know a lot about different types of fabric. But I like it. It's super sturdy feeling and it's just cute. So if no one buys those, I'm probably going to keep keep them, obviously. <laughs> but I'm going to use them is what I mean. Because I like that Mickey Mouse one. I got a Harry Potter one left. I got a Star Wars one. I got a Beauty and the Beast one. Uh, a cowboy one and a multicolored one. And then I'll have these ones soon. But yeah, and stitch markers. And my Knit Crate link will be below if you're interested in that. If you use the coupon, you can get 20% off your first Knit Crate order. I think that's everything. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because my throat's actually getting sore from talking because I was um, filming earlier and then filming this one. And I'm going to either sew a little or crochet a little or just chill. I need to mop the living room floor. Jesse spilled a drink and when I cleaned it up the first time it wasn't good enough apparently because it's still kind of sticky in there. So i got to go take care of that. And I will see you guys in the next video which will be, I'm not even sure when. I'm, I'm, I've got a lot of ideas in my head for videos. I just got to get the time to film them 
edit them and upload them and all that stuff. It's, it's actually a really long process. Um, more than I ever thought when I first started making videos. I thought I was just film it and put it up, but the, the more that I do it, I realize the more that it takes to do it well. You have to edit and all that stuff. But anyways, I'm gonna hop off because I don't want to say her jab run about nonsense. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys are all having a good holiday weekend if you're in the U.S. If you're not in the U.S., I hope you're having a good weekend anyways. Or almost weekend. Today's Friday. I keep thinking today's Saturday. Well, to you, it's Saturday. Anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here before I get too confused. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.